Warning, as required by G2 law, we must inform that this therapy may contain aspects that certain patients may find uncomfortable. I didn't get to read that. So you can go ahead and pause and check what the warnings were and see if those apply to you. Thanks. So this is Therapy with Dr. Albert Kruger. L-E-E, -E, Taylor Lee. Dr. Kruger is waiting for you at room 1015. Huh? Wait a second. Where, where the hell am I? Welcome to Kruger Health Solutions Corporation. We are the largest leading multi-specialty medical group in G2 District, delivering more than 1 million patient visits each year. I am Dr. Albert Gerald Kruger, and I will be in charge of your dream therapy today. What? I'm not sick. Then what the hell is dream therapy? That sounds like a scam. Do not be afraid, my child. I'll have you know that I'm a professional and I have a PhD in marine biology. Do I look like a dolphin to you? Before we start our session, I'd like to go over your basic information. What is your name, my child? Taylor Lee. Age? 19. Preferred pronouns? They, them. What brings you here today and what are your symptoms? I said I'm not sick. Very well. Why don't we start with a sanity check? Do you enjoy math, Taylor? No. Not particularly. Perfect, then let's start with some simple math. The rule is very simple. I'll show you a question, and you'll need to choose the correct answer from four cards I provide you. Does that sound good? Whatever. All right, let's get started. Four, star four. Impress. Two times five. Impressive. Four minus three. Excellent job. Six plus three. Wow, amazing. Six plus seven. What happens if I answer these wrong? Très bien, très bien. Seven plus three. Wow, amazing. Eight plus eight. Excellent job. Five minus one. Excellent job. Three plus nine. Excellent job. Oops, my apologies. What the hell was that blood? No, it wasn't. That most definitely was. No, it wasn't. Now, Taylor, time is ticking. Focus on your question first. A minus eight. I can't believe it. Nicely done. Wonderful job, Taylor. You got all of them correct. You must have used a lot of brain cells for those math questions. Why don't we take a little short break? Um, sure. Let me turn up the music. Much better. So, how's it going? Huh? How are you feeling? Everything alright? Uh, I'm a bit confused, but otherwise all good. How's school? Pretty much the same. Are you a college student? Yeah. Sweet. Are you from G2? Yeah. Been living here my whole life. What about you? Are you from around here as well? Yes. I was born in G2. However, I did not attend college here. I went to G4 for my post-secondary education. Oh, RMU? Yes. That's a pretty dope school. Thank you. Alright, break's over. Let's move on to the next section of our therapy, shall we? Um, okay. For this section, we're going to play a game. A very classic one. It's called the Shell Game. Have you heard of that? The Shell Game? No, not really. It's more commonly known as Cups and Balls. Oh. That. I suck at that game. Why don't we give it a try? What do you think? Um, whatever you say. I love the enthusiasm. As you can see, I have three cups over here. 
And one of them, I will be placing a... Hmm, pardon me. But it seems that we don't have any balls here. Let me go get one. Just what in the hell is going on? What the fuck was that? Thank you for your patience, Taylor. I appreciate it very much. What the hell happened out there? Did you hear that? Hear what? The scream. What scream? This is a waste of time. Shall we proceed with the therapy? As you can see, I have three cups over here. And in one of them, I'll be placing a ball under it. What the fuck, man? That's not a ball. It's a freaking eyeball. An eyeball is a ball. It's a sphere. It's, it, it is a sphere. You know that's not what I meant. Where the hell did you get it? It was donated by a former patient. Why would you use that for cups and balls? This is messed up. Actually, according to the contract, we are free to use it however we want. Jesus fucking Christ. Any other inquiries? You know, the faster we finish this section, the sooner I can put it back. Okay, okay. Jesus Christ. Anyways, I will be shifting those three cups around, and you will tell me which one you think has the ball. Is that clear? Yes. I know how the game works. Perfect. Here we go. Magnif- Magnificent! I wasn't watching. Impressive! Excellent job. I can't believe it. Nicely done. Oh, fuck. Next time, possibly. Correct answer is... Ta-da! Let's try that again. Not quite, but I appreciate the effort. The correct answer is... Ta-da! Good job, Taylor. You managed to spot most of them. Let's take another break, shall we? Sure. Awesome. Let me turn up the music. Pardon me. Albert Kruger speaking. How may I help you? Well, I'm sure you're competent enough to come up with a plan. Am I correct? These are like rabbits. No, William. We're not killing it. I prefer that we come up with a better plan before resolving to that. Now, please excuse me. I'm with a patient at this moment. Sorry about that. Um, is everything okay? That sounds pretty serious. Thank you for your concern, Taylor. I appreciate it very much. However, there's no need to be worried. I'll have you know that our team is extremely well trained. Um, okay, that's good to know. By the way, your last name is Kruger, right? That is correct. Just kinda curious, does that mean you're the CEO? Good catch, Taylor. Yes, I am indeed the CEO of Kruger Corporation. In fact, my father was the one who created this company. All I did was simply take over after his death. Is that why you came back from G4? To take over your family's business? Yes, it's part of my destiny. I... I see. But damn, I gotta say, I'm pretty honored to receive therapy from the CEO himself. You're too kind, Taylor. I'm just simply doing what I enjoy doing. And not to mention, I enjoy talking to you very much. Um, I'm glad. I say that's enough time for a short break. Shall we move on to the next section? Uh, sure. This section is a bit different. It's not a game or a test, but a way for you. It's not a game or a test, but a way for me to get to know you better. Or, as how I usually like to call it, the gateway to your heart. The gateway to my heart? Yes, I will be asking you a series of questions, and I'd like you to answer them honestly. Huh? What kind of questions? All kinds of questions. Questions that are... Nah, I'll pass. It's an integral part of the therapy. Abstaining is not an option. This ain't fair, you know. I didn't sign up for any of this. Why do I have to tell you anything about me? Hmm. Well, 
I guess I can modify this part a little bit. How about each time you tell me something about you, I'll tell you something about me in return. Hmm. That's tempting. How do I know if you're lying or not? Trust is extremely important between a patient and their therapist. It's essential for the work to go as far as it needs to. Okay, fine. Whatever. Excellent! However, I do have one request. You'll have to close your eyes for this section, and no matter what happens, you can't open your eyes till I tell you to do so. Can I trust you on that? Like this? Yes! Perfect! My first question is, what was it like growing up in your family? Hmm, nothing extraordinary. My parents were immigrants who came to G2 to seek opportunities. I had two siblings, and we used to all live under the same roof with our parents. Sometimes it gets a little bit annoying, but as a whole, it was a pretty happy experience. But what about you? What was your family like? It was also quite ordinary. Both of my parents were well-known figures in the medical field. They were very busy people. However, what's different from you is, I was the only child. I see. No. My second question is, how connected do you feel to the people around you? Hmm. Well, I'm not very popular in schools, but I do have a few good friends that I feel deeply connected to, and my family as well. We understand and respect each other very well. That's good. It's important to have friends and families that support you. Well, what about you? Do you feel connected to the people around you? Of course. I feel deeply connected. What was that? Why the fuck is he killing a cat? I feel deeply connected to all my patients. They all mean a lot to me. I guess that's very professional of you. What the hell were all these noises? Should I open my eyes? No, I don't want to get like killed or something for opening my eyes. I want my eyeballs ripped out. Next question. If you could wave a magic wand, what positive changes would you make happen in your life? Hmm, that's a tough one. There's really nothing I'd like to change. I like everything the way it is right now. Interesting response. Is it always it, it is always important to appreciate what you have at hand. Well, let's hear yours. What would you change? Hmm. I guess the world could have less mediocre people. Excuse me? I'm just joking. I love my life and everything about it. There's nothing that needs to be changed. Something feels off. What is this weird guitar sound? Should I open my eyes? Hell no. Last question. Have you ever had the urge to murder someone in your life? Maybe dismember them, chop them into pieces, make them into a hamburger. E excuse me? Of course not. This is messed up. Have, have you? I personally take a dislike to hamburgers, so no, that that's not. I'm feeling really uneasy. Should I open my eyes? Not until we're told to. Thank you for your cooperation, Taylor. You're not free to reopen your eyes. <laughs> Shall we take another short break? Let me make the music louder. Um, do you hear that? Uh, my apologies for such unpleasant experience, Taylor. No, if you would excuse me, I will go handle that. It just sounds like a drunk singing. It's not that big a deal. Why don't you watch some videos in the meantime? Um, okay. I'll put on some videos. Albert? Yes? Please don't kill him. <laughs> of course I won't. Who do you think I am? I'll be back soon. life-changing treatments and revolutionary dream therapy, allowing our patients to tackle their stress in ways the world has not seen before. So what are you waiting for? In today's increasingly difficult market, what better thing to invest in than yourself? Hello again, Taylor. I hope you enjoyed the video. That was a pretty cool commercial. Thank you. In fact, it's a bit out of date. I plan to update it soon. Um, I see. 
did things get resolved with that dude? Yes, resolved peacefully. That's that's good. Are we ready for the next round of therapy? Yes, sure. This section is going to be a lot more fun than the previous ones. Anybody a chance to do the Rorschach test, Taylor? The Rorschach test? Isn't that the thing where they show you a picture and ask you what you see? And that is correct. The psychological test developed in 1921 to measure underlying thought disorder and examine a person's personality characteristics at emotional functioning. So for this section, I will be showing you a series of ink blots, and you will tell me what you see in them. Is that clear? Yeah, crystal clear. Alright, here we go. Looks like an intestine. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Hmm, okay. Looks like a skull. I guess I'll say face, because it looks a lot like a skull. Is that what you see? Looks like a lobster human hybrid. Interesting choice. Is that what you see? Interesting. Very interesting. Interesting choice. Quite the imagination. Is that what you see? Good job, Taylor. That was incredibly fascinating. Well done, Taylor. Well done. I am so proud of you. I hate to say this, but we're getting close to the end of our therapy. I just want to say, I really enjoyed speaking to you, and I really appreciate that you chose Kruger Corporation. Um, I actually didn't, but no worries. I was also a very interesting session for me. I'm glad you enjoyed it as well. That means a lot to me. May I ask what's your favorite section of the therapy? Favorite section? Uh, they were all pretty cool, I guess. You're too kind, Taylor. I'm so glad to hear that. Would you mind filling out this post-therapy survey for me? It would mean a lot to me. Sure. No. Sure. Thanks a lot. That was a big help. Before I let you go, can I have one last request? Sure. What is it? Will you sacrifice yourself for the G2 district? Ha-ha! Huh? We need you for building a better future of G2 district. We need you to feed the hungry people of G2 district. G2 is our hometown. We need to make G2 better. What do you mean, feed the hungry people? My children have been starving. They'll be grateful to you forever. Thank you for your contribution to G2 District. I wonder if there's an ending. Yeah, bad end. Ending one of three. I really enjoyed that. That's That was really well done. I definitely want to play that again. Um, I'm not sure if I'll make a second video on it or if I'll just play it in my own time. But either way, I will leave the link to the game in the description. You should check it out. It's free to play. It seems really neat. I would highly recommend. Um, so that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Yo. Good to see that you're doing fine. As you can see... I'm very fucked. <sighs> what a waste. They didn't even finish my intestines. But it's okay. This does not need to happen to you. The thing is, Albert seems to be using dream therapy as a way to find a certain type of people. So maybe get all the questions right? Be as obedient as possible. Don't question him. Maybe that way you can save yourself from getting the same fate as I do. Why don't you go ahead and find out? <laughs>